Hello people of YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Pixelated Golfers Association. Um, I actually thought I'd won... Uh, what tournament was it? I thought I'd won this one to be honest. Uh, so it was a nine hole course. I think uh, Honey Bear beat me by a stroke once it decides to load up. Oh no, it wasn't that one. Hold on, I'm, oh, no, I, I, was, I was about to say that was the wrong one. Yeah, so Honey Bear beat me by a stroke. Uh, I thought I'd deny the, the, the W. But this week it is the Dell Technologies. Now, this is a match play event. Um, but we're just playing it like the normal um, stroke play. I had a really good second round. I actually live streamed the round two and round three. So round three was a little bit of a disappointment, six under. Made a couple of mistakes on that, that uh, round, but the second round was absolutely... I mean, at one point, I think I'd birdied and eagled like eight holes in a row or something. And then I had a little bit of a, a kind of internet issue, but it, it, didn't, it didn't load up for some reason. So we're currently seven behind the lead. I think somebody else is at 20 under par through... Three round, no, two rounds. So there may be an opportunity for other people to come in, but I mean, we're, we're still what seven shots behind. So I've not really been watching much of the golf. In fact, I've not been playing. I decided not to play TGC tours this week. Um, I just wasn't really. I don't know, like leading into this week, I hadn't really played much and uh. I actually played uh, I played my PGA Tour career mode and I was playing on um, the Players Championship and I played wait, the first three rounds was, was pretty decent I think I was 12 under par through three uh, fourth round I was played just terrible I think I found the water three or four times or two or three times I can't remember uh, I think I ended up like shooting eight over par or something it was really really bad um but yeah that was just i don't know just 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 the way it is i do play on master level though hi there my name is john i'd like to welcome you to the course down a today bit. don't want it to echo let's kick things off We're so this course is uh, quite interesting first hole. some uh, some tight uh, fairway shots our first drive down the middle and we'll take it from there Uh, first round of the day again, so we're 21 under par. And best of I usually hit a couple of practice endeavor. strokes, that's a little bit this off in the, the swing plane, tournament. but. I usually don't really do too much in the, in the practice range, I usually hit a couple of balls. I don't really go crazy. And second shot here on the first. Right, 45. I think that should be good enough. Slow uphill. I'd imagine this might run a little bit. Yeah, it runs too much. Ah, uh, just trickle keeps trickling on. There's quite a lot of slope in these greens. Just put this one in its home. It's a long way from home, but yeah, you can see there. We just cut that that red section. Uh, okay, this is an interesting first putt. But we get the white. Yeah, quite happy with that. Good, good for pace. Oh, a little bit shy though, but. Short. And just yeah, so T T T TGC Tours didn't happen pop. this week. I was kind of going. I, I was going to pull the trigger. I actually missed the pro arm Monday, Tuesday. Um, just didn't really have again. Just kind didn't have much time here, out of the gates, even par to play. The first. And then Wednesday, I think I played the the one round Wednesday. And I was, I was thinking of playing, but 
It means I've got to play another two rounds of golf, which is like 60, 60 plus minutes. It up on the second hole. And I just thought, nah, because you don't want to, you don't want to do that and then play really bad. Oh, it's fast. And hopefully it should this be okay, nice and safe in the fairway. So the society at this moment in time is on the pro setting. Uh, I'd rather play master. That's why I had it open. Um, but a lot of people were playing it on easy mode, which kind of, you know, they're obviously shooting quite low scores. Yeah, this is 11 foot down, so I think we could get away with that. So yeah, I've not really been watching the the golf. I, I've I've never been. Well, this could maybe I do watch the golf. The rough I'm more of a sort of like the Masters and the majors and stuff, and the kind of big tournaments. But I don't really watch golf like week in week out. This is what our third shot. Again, it's all really like. down to like time. You just sometimes don't have the the, the opportunity. And the time that the, the PGA Tour is on is at night, and I tend to be like really just heading to my bed. Yeah, this is actually, let's zoom in a little bit. It's a kind of makeable putt. Come on, turn a little. Yeah. Uh, it runs by a little bit. These greens are actually quite tricky. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of slope on them. I'd be careful here, we could easily drop a stroke. It's getting there. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one. Good day, uh, good speed, but Well, let's just pop this in and grab a bogey. I think this is how we started right, um yesterday's round. Or the round the three was a little bit of a, a kinda of bad start if I remember. Well, I don't think we're gonna win this tournament. Not with somebody uh twenty under par starting the round. So what's the scores in the doors? 31 under through 9. Yeah, I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're really going to come close. We've got a long part we had a really good run on, on the one. second round. A little bit of a slow. But yeah, I need to get back into TG TGC tours. I felt that I've been playing really well the last couple of weeks and I was really putting in some good performances but just shy of getting promotion ticks which is kind of annoying because you feel that you played well enough to, to get something from it so decide not to play this week I think gives you a little bit of a break which can be quite a good thing actually right, we, we don't want to play that I, I don't like playing pitch Shots. Let's deal off a little bit. Maybe a little too strong on this. Oh, it's almost perfect. Um, but yeah, I don't like Good playing point. pro settings. Great. I'd rather play Shot like master settings like all the time. Because you can up. get a little bit relaxed on the, the, the pro settings. This putt's good so far. This should be an easy putt. There's a way to bounce back. So we'll bounce on back above it. The last. I like it. But quite an interesting course, um, Austin. As I say, I've not really seen much of the golf on the the. the on television, on so par three. I can't really say that I can like say what the holes are quite familiar. I think we push this club in, we maybe just hit it a little bit harder. Again, that swing line's a bit quirky. Coming in for a landing here on the green, should be pretty good actually. Go out there, looking good. Seven foot putt coming up. Uh, 
don't know how much. I'm probably going to hit this quite easy, so I'm probably going to allow for a little bit more break. Looking good. Ooh, that drops, and that's your second birdie in a row. So two birdies. 22 under. The leaders are... Oh, oh, excuse me. Still 30 under. I mean, I say we're only 8 behind, but... Well, I mean, the way I look at that, he's right, through 11 holes and he's way. 30 under. So we've still got a few holes to play, but we'd really need to birdie every single hole, really. Beautiful swing. So I'm back to using purple clubs. I was using a mixture of gold and... I still have the silver wedge in my bag. Yeah, I just catch the. It's setting up in the, the semi. side rough. This is downhill quite a bit. So maybe we can knock a little bit of that percentage off. Hmm. Can you deal off it a little bit? It's quite a tricky one, this. If it just stays there. Okay, we've got a chance. 12 feet left to the hole. Hmm. I want a break. Come on. It's looking good. Oh, oh just high. Oh, okay, let's finish it. Unlock it. All right, tapping in for par, and we're moving on. Oh, we've got two par fives, six and eight are par and fives, so an incredible 22 under par I think that, hole. if I can remember, they're, they're kind of easy par fives. All right, let's see what we can do here on the sixth hole. Yeah, it's not terribly long. Great swing. So it's like, yeah, fast, which is... Which is not bad, it's, it's kind of short I prefer, the grey fast. Right, what have we got? It's a reachable par 5. Nah, I say reachable. Slightly downhill wide, which is good. Pin's tucked away though. Come on baby. I don't think we've aimed it correct. It's going to bounce away to the side. Yeah, if we'd maybe found the green and we just caught that slope there. For our third shot. Mm, what's this doing? Right. Uh, I think we're going to get a better roll off this. A bit too much. Set. Okay, not for birthday actually. And this one is for the birdie. Sometimes those shots don't go as far as you think. That's a difficult putt. A little bit of break on it. It's heading towards oh, the hole. What what a putt. Yeah, good good buddy. The so we keep the momentum going. Eight two under. Yeah, it's not working. Wind's a little blustery, blowing right to left on this one. Seventeen down. I'm going to ride it in with it, the wind on that side. Um, take a little bit of waft. Silky swing. Come on. You need to catch that slope a little bit. Yeah, maybe a bit more waft would have been 
Could have been good. Nice approach. 26 feet to the cup. It's not a terribly difficult putt, but there's a little bit of break on it. Come on. Oh, come on. Be, be good, be good. Be. Oh. Unlucky. All right, par putt. Okay, time to head over to the next hole. So, we do get a part. So yeah, we have got another like par five coming up. Under. And here we go. Let's see what happens here on the eighth. Yeah, we can cut this down. We get the perfect. And the tee shot Thomas. looks like it'll be safe. I'll go through the tree. Caught up in some brush. Oh! Uh, Oops, that's. Yeah, that's this no one's good. really short. Setting up here in the first cut of rough. Even though we're in the semi here, we've still got a good percentage. Uh, 23 up, 7, eight, seven to 8. Uh, do, 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 do. One six five to the pin. Push that wind off. I think we'll just hit this as is. Come on, be good. Come on, give us a kick to the left. Oh, just just settle down, settle down. Yeah, that's a good shot. Should swing around the tin a little bit. Nailing another approach. Nice. And this is for a bird with big wings. Eagle putt coming up. <sighs> right. I mean, it is breaking. I'm just going to go with that. Looking good. No. Oh, that's uh, annoying. This would be nice to get for Birdie. Good work oh, out that's there annoying. That should have been. Birdie so far. That should have been a birdie. Oh, it was a birdie. That's oh, for the Eagle. Uh, because it's such a short par five, you're only hitting in 160 you know, yards short. Oh, that's, that was a birdie. That was for an Eagle. I don't know how many times I've done that in a par five, especially a par five that's that's short like that. You always think it's a par four. Well, oh, so but we do get the bird here on the ninth. Again, this is quite a summer hole to to the last hole there. Holy oh, ding ding! Holy, that was a microwave smashed. shot. Oh, just wait, like, roll. Oh. oh, perfect, perfect. You've got to come over this side because you can actually end up at that sort of rocky feature just over there. All right, let's have a good second shot here on the ninth. Good number to the pin. Um, 107. Uh, that's a bit of an in between shot here, to be honest. We we'll probably just roll this. Well, we are downhill a little bit. Come on, tempo's good. It's heading for it. Oh, it's looking decent. Oh, nice. I was expecting a little bit more backspin there. Yeah. Sometimes you dial in backspin, but you really don't need it. All right, eight feet to the cup. Looking pretty good. Nice. Yeah, we hit that one really slow. <laughs> I thought it was going to dive by the, the left hand side. 
So we, we're out in 32, so we're 4 under par, 25 under for the tournament. I think 30 under par was through 11, so... I mean, we could only... We could be a couple of shots by, but... When saying that honey bears went in a... Like a birthday fest, I think. Wind is blowing left to right on this one. Uh, I keep forgetting with this hole, we really need to... Uh, A, bit, a little bit, a uh, little bit off on that ooh, swing. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, 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 hit the tree. Okay. All right, let's that get out been, of this uh, mulch that and nasty. Uh, move things along. Uh, I'm thinking. The wind's going to bring this back a little bit, I think. Oop, fetched up in the branches here. I tell you one thing, I'm really liking this uh, silver, silver tight list. It only goes 81 okay, yards. The reason I haven't went purple with, with the 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 lob wedge is I really like that that 81 number. It's it, it's really good for and. In and around the, the, the green. Ooh. Oh, I don't believe I missed. Do you know what? I was talking there and I'm, I was trying to work out the putt, and that's why I was kind of like, <laughs> my mind was somewhere else. Oh, that's a miss and a half. All right. That's, that's a Garcia it. moment. But yeah, I, I've, I've kept the silver lob wedge because I feel. I think the hey, I think we'll club up as a purple, it goes about 107. Um, I actually might go back to a, a, a gold, uh, sort of gap, is it the gap wedge, you've got, a, you've got a, a pitching wedge, a gap wedge, a sand wedge and a lob wedge, or is it, there's a Teeing gap wedge between the, the pitching wedge and your sand wedge, whatever it is, I might go like gold for the, the next club up, oh that was a missed opportunity man, that was really silly. Uh, okay, 19 down, 6, 185 to the pin. Wind's just ever so slightly in our face, but there's really not a lot of room for error here. Beautiful swing. I'd rather be safe. I'd rather be f feet dry than feet wet. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Decent approach there. All right, staring down okay, a birdie not an easy here. putt. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Get in there. Well, I missed it in the high side, which is not bad, actually. Five feet to the cup from here. God, these putts are crazy. All right, nice little two-foot putt. Really a bogey from from nowhere. So okay, we're moving. We're moving. at that point, uh, Honey Bear was thirty under par through eleven. We had twenty-four under, so we had opportunities. We probably could have been a lot better, a couple of shots better. Thirty-seven under par is the the leaderboard. Wow. Um, yeah, we're not going to be uh, we're not going to be close. Par five here. Not another microwave shot. No ding. This drive should be safe. Ding ding. But it's quite an interesting course. Um, it, it's to me, it's good. Okay, about a couple holes that are really, uh, are really good. Like this hole's quite good. You know, there's a lot of trouble. Mm, 
two thirty, but it's it's seventeen down. So it's really two two four. The wind brings that back up though. Okay, I'm gonna play there because the soap's gonna take it, the wind's gonna bring it back, so they kinda of work they work with each other. I'm gonna deal off it just a touch. And hit it normal. Oh, it's looking good actually. Sit. Okay, those on. It's going to give us one of those putts that probably has going to be a little bit of break on it, but... Putting for Eagle here on this one. See, that's, again, that's Stuff. another... I mean, it was a long shot, and I was thinking more of a par four, here. but this is for an Eagle. Mm, it's, a, it's maybe not the easiest of putts, but... Come on, turn, turn. Oh. Okay, I missed it in the pro side. Here we go. This is for never Brady. up, never in. This putt's tracking. So we get the bird it. That's gonna do just nicely. So back to twenty five under par after that bogey at the last. And that was really a bogey from nowhere. There's a lot of these uh, putts, if you do miss a putt. You're gonna have like a six, seven, eight, nine, ten foot or whatever the case may be. Where with a lot of break. And those putts are never easy. Here we go now on the thirteenth. Well this this is just a great hole. Um <laughs> To be honest, I've played it. Like second and third round, I think the the first round I played the driver. Hmm. I fancy this and just leave a pitch in. If I had another driver, oh, that's not going to make it. Oop, that oh, one, you yeah, scumbag! Oh, you are so scumbag. Uh, yeah, I think the driver. I think if you had like a gold driver, it'd be probably better. This one's your third. Oh, it's a missed opportunity in this hole. But we've got the right number in, so. Oh, hundred percent, and perfect. Come on, Come on. For the green. be good. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have died on the, the backspin there. Nice, that was the club. Sometimes it's always an automatic thing to put backspin Wouldn't it on. Be nice to save par on this one? Uh, not too bad, we, we could save par here. Yeah, it's not a bad par, nicely. I mean, what could have been though? It, it's, it's a guaranteed birthday, really. Stay at 25 under par. I bet at least we don't uh, drop a stroke. Thirty under par. I mean, well, can we even get thirty under? Hole number fourteen, Adams. Mm. I don't know. Maybe there's too many boats on the the water. Oh, another microwave. Oh, she's coming in nice to the fairway. I, I mean, maybe like a couple of boats would have been good. I think like having all those boats is just a little bit too much. Setting up here, 140. I don't know if this is the. Away. I don't know if there's another version of this course. Okay, it's going to cut over a little bit. It's going to hold into the wind. The 137 might actually be good because I think we're gonna if we hit it a little bit more than 100 percent We do catch it fast. Oh it's short. Yeah, we maybe need a little bit more power on it. Maybe even a bit of D-Wall. 
But I'm actually I'm, I'm enjoying playing okay, playing the game. There was a spell there where I wasn't playing all that well. But I'm really enjoying the game. I feel I'm, I'm making birdies. I kind of want to get somewhere on TGC2 as though. I want to get promoted. Uh, I want to get promoted from D. I feel okay, I'm a better player than what I am. You know, I feel I should be in, in higher leagues, but it's not easy getting out. This one's tracking. Good job in there with a par. So we get the part. We narrowly missed the, the birdie. So we're into the last stretch, last four holes. Let's see what we can get. We had a bad first round though. I mean the third round we had the first round was, was only three under and I think the, the third round was six under. But that, that second round was absolutely phenomenal. That that should have been a lot better actually than, than twelve under. It's a difficult hole. You kinda of skirt this this bunker. Oh effortlessly done. Nice swing. It's a slight grey fast. Good luck with your second here on the 15th. 117. Hmm. Um, bum, 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 bum. I think I'm going to squeeze this one a little bit. I'm still really working out my, my wedge plate. I'm trying to get it so that I've got what like, combinations I can do if I need to squeeze a, a shot a little bit more like this one. So I really needed another nice. five yards, so maybe going full D loft would have been better. But I haven't really like, went birdie. to the practice range and really worked out. Though I, I've probably said this before. Um I think what you need to do is when you go to the practice range, you really should be able I know in, in real life you can't change the weather, but It'd be nice to actually set a, like a, a certain wind, you know, to test clubs. You know, have like zero wind so that you can really do. Oh, it. oh I just didn't put enough in it. Ooh, so that you can really test a club. Okay, time to finish up. You know, and then right, go take out the course up. and use your plus minus whatever the the the, the wind may be. I think that'd be okay, pretty decent. Stay at 25 under par. I think, in fact, I've always uh, that might be a, that might be something that I do. I think I did that in, in the last game. I had a I had like a practice facility for a par five where I had here. different like yardages, and I could really go out and test. I was thinking, move I, I really, I shouldn't have had that shot. I'm, I'm thinking of that test facility. Let's get, let's get ourselves Because you could really dictate and, uh, let's, let's where the wind comes that. from. We've got about 235 from here. Especially in the wedge play, because that's where you can really make up a lot of shots in this game. Alright, well, oh, this is a par 5. Two, three, four. That's probably not a bad number. Hmm... We do have a soul, which is Heading not towards nah, that's poor. that bunker. That should and, and could have been a really good shot. Okay, and from the greenside bunker, let's uh, nestle this one in nice and close. Ah, uh, just was never enough. All right, let's get this out of the first cut and that's start poor. putting. But that's where that that sixteen, you know, yard splash. That that eight, eighty one. Silver um, Titleist wedge is really good. I don't know what the other wedges are, probably the same. That, that silver clubs. Oh, that's disappointing. So is that. 
Now you've got Kinda really just putt. never put as much effort into those shots. I actually moved it a little bit. Okay, bogey putt. I, I initially up. had it, and I moved it. Okay, safely home with that putt. What was that? Was that? Was that? Oh, was that a double? That's a bogey. Six. Poor hole. I really didn't put any effort into that. The bunker shot was poor. The chip shot was poor. The putt was poor. Number 17, ready to go. Okay, we need to off this. Come on, be good. Well, I think we have the right club here. Oh, get in the hole! Oh. That I don't think shot was nothing less. I think than I've had a hole one, but I can't remember. All right, let's get a birdie and get out of here. What do you say? I don't know if I've got it nice saved. Work. That's birdie number. I've had a hole one in a while. All right, here we go. Last hole. Comfortable in second place at the moment, but I think there's a, a couple of guys that are maybe like 20 under through, you know, the first right. two rounds. Pull I think. 18, ready to go. This this is a difficult hole. I really need to play a little bit of a, a cut shot here. So I want to play an intentional grey fast, or even red. That shot still. Oh no, it's going to find the wrong. Bounce over, bounce over, bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah, that's nice. Um, the red fast is still a bit of a, an overpowering yeah, shot. Time for our second shot here on number 18. So we've got the wall wedge here. I mean, even for a pitch shot, it's like 51. It's a good number. It really is a good number. Um, hmm. Nah, I'd rather play like a flop shot, if I'm honest. Now, is this going to run a little bit? I reckon it would. I reckon it would. Yeah, just it just nipped in a little bit. Here we go. Sink this, and we can write a 67 on that scorecard. Again, not the easiest of uh, of birdies here. So it does break a little bit. Oh, and perfect. your birdie putt drops on the final So birdie hole. finish. That is going to conclude the Pixelated Golfers. Dell Technologies. I mean, it is match play in real life, but, I mean, you possibly could have done match play. And that'll be it for me here today. Thanks for taking me around the course with you. I had a great time. I think it would also be quite good. I mean, I don't mind playing people online, but... It'd be quite... I don't know how you would do that, though. You know, if you could play somebody... You'd, you'd have to both... You'd actually have to do it in like, almost like a... Like, watching a replay kind of thing. You know, if you could... If you could post a, a, an actual, like, uh, score... And somebody else could post a score... And then you could put your two, your two scores together... And, and get, like, a, a replay and record it but it would be in kind of match play sort of thing I know it's not true match play because match play is different you know if somebody drives off the team hits into the, the rough and then you hit the fairway you've got like a, a tactical advantage but then the guy in the rough could could play an absolute barnstorm or a approach and then put you under bags of pressure so it's, it's not really but it'd be quite good if you could do it that way so we finish 26 under par, but 11 shots behind Honeybear. Um, we just didn't really perform. We had two rounds that were poor. First round was actually really poor. Three under par, we, we, we did. And I also noticed that they fixed the... If you bought the DLC pack, 
it used to, in, in the last DLC, I, I won the Flamingo Putter, like, 500 times. So I see that they've actually taken, once you reach that level, they've taken it away, which is quite good. So let's have a look at the leaderboard. So there we go. Honey Bear, 59, 65, 64, 63. And read that 69, 60, 66, 67. So pretty kind of consistent. Second round was really good. I was I was on a, a really good streak. And then I had a little bit of internet problem and it kind of interrupted my, my game a little bit. But not bad. Kind of happy with how I played. So I'll need to set up next week's tournaments. Again, it's going to be the TGC Tours uh, tournament. And then probably a one round Wednesday. I actually played a course on uh, Airways, um, Airway 1981's uh, Society. He had a course that I thought was really nice, quite pleasing to the eye. It wasn't, it wasn't the toughest course, but it was a really nice course to play. Um, so I might, I might put that up. I always try and maybe look for something that's a little bit different. And then I'll probably have the weekend tournament, which always does mirror the PGA Tour. Sometimes the European Tour, if the course is on, it's, it's trying to find a course that, that fits. You know, sometimes you don't have the course. And in which case, I'll just make one up. But that concludes the WGC Dell Technologies, not match play. I, I, I was actually going to put that in the title. Uh, but it, it wouldn't fit in. So as I say, there's other people to come in. Other people that are probably going to overtake my score. So I, I'm not going to be probably second. I might be third. Fourth, maybe. But anyway, folks, take care. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the future. Bye.